All right, today is September 12, uh, 2015. My name is Carlos Tavares, and this is my son, Carlos Tavares, and we're uh, going to be performing a thoracic and uh, respiratory pulmonary assessment. Um, I get permission for him to be part of this video since he is a minor. Uh, I'm going to start my assessment by visually inspecting the chest. I'm going to follow that by auscultation, followed by percussion when appropriate, and then finally palpation. I'm going to do the interior portion of the body, and then I'm going to do the posterior portion of the body, and uh, again, comparing from side to side. Uh, when I'm assessing the neck and chest, I'm going to make sure, uh, I mean, actually, it's just the chest and respiratory system. I am going to assess part of the neck, and I'm looking for jugular vein distension, and I'm looking to see that his trachea is actually midline. I'm also looking for equal expansion of the chest, so take a deep breath and let it fall, and just visually noticing, making sure there's no paradoxical movement, uneven, uneven movement from side. I'm also looking in the chest to make sure there's no trauma or anything that would be uh, abnormal that would cause problems with breathing. Following, I'm going to listen for lung sounds. I'm going to try to listen for clear sounds. Uh, the the tricky vesicular sounds are heard at the top here, and vesicular sounds are heard on the other parts of the lungs, specifically in the back. Uh, I'm also checking when I'm listening for wheezing. I'm looking to see, uh, to make sure there's no wheezing, rails or crackles, which is fluid in the bottom parts of the lungs. And then following that, I'm going to check for consolidation, which uh, would be round type type sounds. So when I'm listening to the chest, I want to have him take a deep breath, in out, deep breath, out, deep breath, out, deep breath, out, deep breath, out, deep breath. And I was checking from side to side, comparing side to side. Now I'm going to check for consolidation, and I'm going to have him using the, 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 the number 99. So every time you feel me touch a spot, you say 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. 99. So I shouldn't be able to hear the, the numbers 99 clearly through the stethoscope. Even though I'm hearing a sound, if I hear it pretty clearly, that's a sign of consolidation. Now I'm going to have him whisper one two three really low whisper one two three again i should not be able to even hear this so easy i mean the whisper okay again no signs of consolidation and following i'm going to check for egophony which is also a sign of consolidation i'm going to have him say the word the letter e and if i hear the a sound then i probably got consolidation My movement on my stethoscope is what they call a ladder. So I'm going from side to side, down from side to side. Okay, so that sounds clear, and that's saying that the sounds are good and normal. Following, I'm going to actually do palpation. So I'm going to check for equal rise and fall on both sides. Deep breath. Okay, I can bring my thumbs together, and I can have them take a deep breath. Now, as you see, my thumbs actually separate. Deep breath. Okay, and then deep breath. Okay, so I've checked anterior and laterally. Next, I'm going to palpate the bony parts of the chest for symmetry, making sure there's no crepitus, no subcutaneous emphysema, which is air in the lungs. And I'm checking for making sure again that there's no subcutaneous emphysema here, and then the trachea is actually midline. All right, so now I'm going to rotate my patient this way. So let me sit with your legs over here. And I'm going to follow the same order for the back. I'm going to inspect the posterior part. And again, I'm checking to make sure there's nothing abnormal here. I'm going to have him take deep breaths. This is the area that if he was having difficulty breathing, we would see accessory muscles being used and trying to use his back muscles to actually breathe. Uh, I'm going to now auscultate the back here. And when I auscultate, I'm going to try to stay away from the scapulas because I'm not going to be able to hear any sounds there. And I'm going to have him take again deep breaths. Deep breath, deep breath, deep breath, deep breath, deep breath, deep breath, and deep breath. Okay, those sound good. And again, back here, I'm going to check again for consolidation, and I'm going to have them say the words 99 and the number 99. 99, 99, 99, 99, 99. And I'm gonna have him whisper one, two, three. Okay. 
and again use the letter E and say Okay, and that sounds good. Okay, and then after I auscultate it, and here in the back I'm actually going to percuss. And what I'm percussing for is hyper resonance. I should be able to hear hyper resonance sounds, which is air. And if I hear dullness, then I'm probably uh, palpating on a, on a bone or fluid. I'm going to use my middle finger of my non-dominant hand to do my, my uh, percussion. I'm going to percuss to it here again, just hyper resonance. Okay. And dullness. Okay. I'm going to use a skin body marking pen to actually map out my diaphragm, uh, my diaphragm distance. I'm going to map it out for what it's at rest or when he's taking a deep breath. I'm sorry, when he's taking a deep breath and activity, and then when he's exhaling. So, again, I'm going to percuss. From where I hear hyper resonance. Okay, and I'm gonna mark that area where I lose it, where I hear dullness. Okay, and then I'm gonna percuss until I hear hyper resonance again. And this is with him just breathing normal. I'm gonna try to come to this side again. I'm gonna see where I hear dullness. Okay, where I lost it equal to the other side and I'm going to go to our hyper resonance okay. so that's where my start and end now I'm going to have them take a deep breath and hold it deep breath okay hold it okay so here's my diaphragm okay and an area here left tail Okay, I'm going to take a deep breath again, and breathe out, and don't take a breath, and then keep that in order, and there's right there, alright, okay, good, and again inhale, so this is the marking where my diaphragms are at inhalation and exhalation. Finally, I'm going to palpate my back, again checking for trauma. Making sure there's no subcutaneous emphysema or air. Making sure that he's taking equal expansions. So to take equal expansion, I'm going to come down here. And I'm actually going to pinch some skin. And I'm going to have him take a deep breath. And I should see my thumbs expand and exhale. Okay. And I'm going to do the same for the side lateral, the deep breath. And exhale. Okay. All right. And that concludes my session.